Hi, this is Mo Volans for Tuts Plus, and I'm carrying on down the road of subtractive synthesis, or at least virtual analog synthesis uh, tips and tricks. Uh, we started off with very, very simple techniques using FabFilter's uh, excellent one synth, and then I did a few videos uh, demonstrating some sort of classic analog effects uh, using uh, Yuhi's Diva. And now I'm going to show you some uh, sort of more advanced uh, things. Well, at least I'll clear some stuff up for you using the Logic's ES2. Uh, the reason I'm using this is because it's sort of got a lot of uh, features that might be pretty intimidating to the uh, to the beginner or somebody that's at least refreshing their synthesis technique. Um, in this video, I wanted to talk about the mod matrix. It's always something that my students um, and people that I talk to about synthesis get freaked out about. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like looking at a really big console. As soon as they start looking at a big table full of numbers and names, uh, the whole thing falls apart and they just um, sometimes just don't end up using it. So, Let's take a look at the mod matrix in the ES2. The reason I've used the ES2 here is the mod matrix is very clear and is actually sort of a big part of the synth. So I've just got a really simple saw wave. I often start with just a sort of a, a, an initialized saw wave and it's just one saw and the filters are wide open. There's no effects or anything. And I've set up some basic uh, mods in the mod matrix to sort of show you how it works. Basically, it's the same thing, you know, just repeated in each one of these boxes. So as, as long as you understand one of these, it's very much like a, a console, you know, or a mixer. Once you've got one of the channel strips down, once you understand it, it's really just the same thing replicated. So the target is what you want to modulate. The via can be sort of a, a modifier, and we'll look at that in the next one. Uh, but don't worry about that at the minute. And the source is what you're modulating with. So if you decide to modulate the cutoff, like cutoff two, which is this control, we're in filter number two and it's the cutoff. And we want to modulate it with envelope two, which is envelope two down here. At the minute, there's no modulation. If I turn this up and turn the cutoff down, we can start to hear some modulation. Let's get the resonance up. There you go. Let's add some attack. So that's how you would apply a simple modulation in the mod matrix. Just the cutoff being modulated by envelope 2. Target, what you want to modulate. Source, what you're modulating with. You can bypass these by hitting the little bypass button, or you can hit Alt, and it'll just go back to zero. So let, let's look at something sort of a step up from that. Pitch one, two, and three, that's basically the pitch of all oscillators. We've only got one activated, but if you had more than one activated, this would affect all of them. Uh, these are basically affected by uh, calling up this drop-down menu here. You can you can affect just the pitch of one, if you like, but pitch one, two, and three is very useful for creating vibrato, and that's what we're going to do here. Um, the via control is then used for the mod wheel here. We've got, we can use things like the pitch bend, the velocity, uh, and the XY pad that's included, uh, various controllers, the side chain input even, LFOs and envelopes, basically anything you want, uh, anything you're going to use. There's even aftertouch in here as well. So let's go with the mod wheel. And at this point, it's going it's, then it's going to the LFO as the source, LFO number one, which is down here. And the rate's pretty high. Uh, so if I just turn the mod wheel up, in fact, let's turn the frequency back up and the resonance down. You can hear that. Now, if we change the rate of the LFO, you can hear that occurring. Now, you may see that there's two points here. And if we grab one of them and make it larger, this is simply the range. You, once you put a via point in, you get two different controls. So zero would be when the mod wheels turn right down. And then you can change the top range. So when the mod wheel's all the way to the top. For vibrato, it tends to work better if that top range is slightly lower. Bit more musical. So pretty much any mod matrix is going to work in this way. If you look at Omnisphere, if you look at most the Archuria stuff that's got mod matrix, matrices, matrixes in there, uh, you're going to see very similar stuff. Um, you can just use straight... Uh, mappings to the mod wheel and to performance effects like aftertouch and velocity. So cutoff can just go straight to the mod wheel. Uh, and this is cutoff two. So if I turn this down and 
You don't have to use the mod wheel as a via. You just can do for things like vibrato. So you can just use it as a direct control for parameters. So it's like really using a MIDI controller to map things directly to controls. So there's a few different uses and probably the main uses of, uh, of the mod matrix. Um, and this is going to really apply to any synthesizer that's, that's got one. They've pretty much all got those three points. If they haven't, um, they're just going to have two points like this target and source but most of them will have a via or a, you know a control a performance controller that you can insert in the center there hopefully this has helped you if you're sort of either setting off or maybe you've forgotten <laughs> uh, quite a bit about your synth technique it's always good to refresh these things in the next video i'm going to show you how to use multiple modulators and how to modulate modulators with modulators if that makes any sense so things like speeding up lfos with envelopes and uh, interesting stuff like that. If you want to see any specific tips in this quick tip series, just let me know and I'll try and fit them in. Uh, but thanks for watching. And uh, as always, leave a comment. Thanks a lot.